Hello, Michael Happy here from Time to Give. Here's two beautiful watches from Techni. I don't know if you see the difference. One is the Sparrowhawk 2, first version, and then there's the Sparrowhawk 2 Echo, which is the newest version. So, what is the difference here? This one is the newest one, the Sparrowhawk 2 from Techni the Echo version, whereas this one is the Sparrowhawk 2 Classic. They just look alike. There's only a few differences in the hands or in the color here, which in fact is still reproduced to this black PVD, which is quite similar to the one on the right here. But uh, the hand of the 24 hour is different and things like that. Let me explain. So. What's the main difference between these two is the movement. We are coming from a Sparrowhawk 2 first version, which is here, that has a uh, Seiko movement, which is a Mecha Quartz, um, with a mechanical device inside. And here there's the Echo version, which is the latest one, with a Miota movement. Um, the difference is there. This one will be echo, will last much longer as a battery life than this one. Even though this one had a mechanical device for returning the hands, it still use a lot of power with the chronograph because it count half a uh, fifth of a second every time. So let me show you how it works. Both of them are set to zero. So if you see the difference, here on the right there's the VK version. It counts fraction of a second, whereas this one beats one per second. So this is a major way to see the difference in between both watches. The case is really quite the same. There's one difference on the case, which is the crown. The old version has a bigger crown. This is a smaller crown, but they are both screwed down crown. So you unscrew them then they loosen up and then you can fit uh, configure the time function wise they are really the same too so if you see the old one uh, you have hour minute second of the chronograph 24 hour counter with a uh, hand here with a little round for the luminescent position here there's at six o'clock uh, discrete second beat and there's at uh, uh, nine o'clock the uh, 60 second uh, 60 minute counter of the chronograph same goes for this one so 24 hour but here's an arrow a small counter same hand and here also same hands but the version in stainless steel is slightly different than the one in PVD where the orange goes pretty well indeed with the black PVD case and hands and straps. Okay, so these are the differences. Uh, also, you can see them on the back. You will see here these two cases have a uh, screwed down back uh, with uh, references to Techni, to the serial number, and uh, also um, the Echo uh, logo inside, whereas this one was a bit more simpler, they didn't have this Echo inside. So, another great feature about this Parahawk 2 first, second edition, the Echo version, it's the fact that if your hands are miscalibrated by whatever reason, playing golf, hard shock on your watch and this hand has been moved, it's really easy and possible to bring it back to zero. So how to do that with this beautiful movement uh, OS20 from Miota? It's by unscrewing the crown, then it pops out, you pull it to the last position and then with this pusher, one per second, there you are, it's calibrated back into place. 
So you screw down the crown again and activate the chronograph to show you the difference. Whenever I return to zero, everything is well in place. 